Hey, Otto, how are you? Hey, Johnny, good to see you. So you want to tell us about uh, yourself and your company to start with, and then we dig into the cooperation? Of course, I'm uh, Otto, I'm the CEO of DoublePoint. We're a Finnish-based company, and we make gesture recognition algorithms for wearables. Okay, what does um, make your solution special? So we specialize in making our algorithms hardware agnostic. So we can operate on many different sensors. We don't, we don't need any special electrodes and we can just utilize the off-the-shelf uh, IMUs and PPG sensors for our gesture recognition solution. That's great. And um, how um, do you find the cooperation with Ambic helping you in getting to your target markets? Yeah, so Ambic has been really profiling itself as a, uh, as a great provider of uh, SOCs for the wearable platforms. And you guys, been, you guys have been doing a great job with battery uh, consumption and energy efficiency, which is extremely important for us because it uh, widens the opportunities we can take our wearable uh, algorithms to uh, in terms of the customer segments. Tell us more about the solution. How, how is the algorithm developed? Is it a neural network? How complex it is? And what type of requirement you need to run it on an MCU on small form factor like wearables? Yeah, so we've done, uh, uh, first of all, to address the requirements, we've done testing on everything above an M4. Uh, so that's everything between an M4 and an M7 cortex. Um, in terms of the algorithm, it, it is a neural network and DoublePoint specializes in the data sets that are required to train such a neural network into very restricted uh, environments. Um, so we basically take sensor input from off-the-shelf sensors uh, we feed it through our, uh, through our algorithm training process and then we embed it into restricted environments such as, uh, uh, such as an M4 uh, for effective gesture recognition. Do you have in mind the number of microjoule you're using for one inference on the Apollo 5? I think it's around 40. Yep, that's right. That's quite impressive number. And that's, uh, I think, what makes the solution so appealing for the target market that we both addressing as companies. You want to tell us more <clears throat> about what type of application you're addressing with this um, just algorithm? So the applications that we are the most excited about is lightweight augmented reality headset control. So now that we're seeing AI glasses, AR glasses starting to become more, uh, more on the roadmaps of large companies and small companies, the interaction for those headsets has not yet been solved. So what we're imagining is that uh, for wearables, you could have this interaction capability built in and you could use your wearable to control your headset, which is something we're really excited about. There are other use cases in TV, in uh, controlling the wearable itself even, for IoT, for automotive infotainment, and also uh, controlling any external display. Yeah, very interesting. I think the best to show what the algorithm does and how it works nicely to show a demo of it directly. Yeah, we um, have a couple of demos and we'd be happy to show that. Yep, let's do that. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thanks, Johnny. Let's just demonstrate practically how this works. The easiest is to see it. So I will control my, with my finger tip the <clears throat> presentation, moving slide forward and backward with palm up. And as you can see, this doesn't require any camera or any uh, optical sensor with high power consumption, just based on IMU gesture. It can be even improved by adding PPG, standard PPG sensor. 